Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today is just a very quick tutorial just to show you this stunning effect, which is the tiny planets effect. As we can see, this is the effect right here, and this is how it will end up. So this effect works great on a lot of images, and I'll explain a bit more about that later on. So I'm going to go and show you a few different styles of this. So this one right here, which is a tropical scene, really nice colours within this. And right here, which is my favourite, and it's really nice and well laid out. So I'm going to go jump into the main original image, and I'm going to explain a bit more about the effect, like I said earlier. So the effect really does work well with panorama images, but if you don't have a panorama image, don't worry, this effect will work, but we do have to play around with it a bit more. So there is two different ways of actually doing this effect. So I'm going to go and show you the first way, and then I'll go and show you the second way. So you can really play around and see which one works best with your image. So a lot of you guys will end up with a rectangle image. So from here, all we're going to do is we're going to go and press Ctrl and T to free transform or Command and T if you have a Mac. And we're going to go right click. We're going to go and click flip vertical. So we want the sky at the bottom. We're going to go to filter after clicking the tick icon. Go to filter, go to distort, and we're going to go to polarize coordinates. From here, we want to make sure that we have rectangular to polar clicked on. Click OK. And there we have it. That's pretty much is the first way. Now, because we didn't have a panorama image, we have ended up with a line down the middle. If you do have a panorama image, then you won't end up with that. It will just be a clean um, transition between the two. But we will come to that a bit later on. And as I said, we do need to play around with it and we'll sort it out. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go and show you the other way. So the other way of doing it is squishing it into a square image. So we have a rectangle image and we're going to go up to image, image size. And we want to make sure that this little button here is off so we can play around with the values. So I have a width of 1500 and the height is 974. So the width is a lot more. So we're going to go and change the width, which is the highest value, down to the lowest value. So I'm going to go and change the width to 974 so that will make a square image because both values are 974 so you want to go and do that for your image so change the values they're not going to be the same as mine click OK once we're done as we see it's squished it into a square shape which is exactly what we want from here is exactly the same as the other way so control and T right click go to flip vertical and from here, all we're going to do is go up to, to the tick icon, go to filter, distort, polarize coordinates, make sure rectangular to polar is clicked on, click OK. And there we have it. We have a better version, so you can really play around with the two different ways and see which one works best with your image. So I'm going to go and sort out this line down the middle because we don't have a panorama image. So we're going to go over to the clone stamp tool, which is on the left hand side. And we're going to go and zoom in, and we're going to hold down Alt or Option if you have a Mac, and take a sample from somewhere else. And we want to go up to the brush, and we want a hardness of zero, because we want a soft brush for this. And then we just want to go along, and we can go and change like that, just so it's a smooth transition between the two. And you can play around with this. I'm just doing this very quickly, like that. And... We can go and do the sky, take a sample, and then go like that, zoom out, zoom back in again, and we can do the same to the rest. Now, if you're going to go and do this to the clouds, take a sample of the clouds, like that, and we'll just do the same up to the top, like that, and just do a bit there. And you'll have a lot more time to play around with this than me. So I'm just doing this very fast just to show you what it can look like. And there we have it. We've got rid of the line and that's all that you need to do. So just play around with the clone stamp tool and go and zoom in and just get all those fine little details right. And you can go and change the sides if you want to to a certain block color but that's really up to you and I'm going to leave mine like this and we can go and press 
Control and T or Command and T to free transform and we can just rotate this so the trees at the top but that is my preference because I have trees sticking out you might have buildings if you're doing an urban area so I'm going to click the tick icon at the top and there we have it that's all that you need to do to get this stunning effect so please comment rate and subscribe guys please go check out the website Facebook and Google Plus and as I say if you want to um, support me then go and check out the stunning t-shirts at the spread shirt and the link will be after this video so until then and until next time I'll see you then bye for then